This is $350 of your hard earned cash. Now, you don't wanna waste it, either do I. So let's figure out which of these two machines offers the best value for the 350. Comparing the Bamboo Lab A1 to the Crowdy Ender 3 V3 is one of the most popular requested comparisons uh, that we've done here. Now, every time I do one, I ask you, I invite you to go to the comments and tell me what you think the next comparison can be. So go ahead, take a moment and do that, and let's get started. The Bamboo Lab A1 comes in with a very medium sized build volume of 256 millimeters cubed. It's pretty common. The Ender 3 V3 has a little bit smaller build volume, but not by much, and it's 220 by 220 by 250 millimeters on the Z. Now about temperatures and the filaments that these machines can handle. The Bamboo Lab A1 has a pretty standardized or pretty common 300-100 combination, and that means that it has 300C on the nozzle and 100C for the build plate, while the Ender 3 V3 is 300 on the nozzle, but it is a little bit warmer on the build plate coming into the 110. Now, what does that mean? Well, you're gonna be able to print PLAs, which are your common filaments up here. You're gonna be able to print PETGs, uh, TPUs, those are your flexible filaments, and you're gonna be able to print ABSs and ASAs as well. Now, ABS and ASA, you're gonna wanna print those in an environment that's a little bit more stable as far as temperature goes. You're gonna wanna be able to keep out drafts and things like that of the room, or you'll have trouble with bed adhesion. Both of these machines, they might look similar aesthetic-wise, but they're using a little bit different technology. The Bamboo Lab A1 is a more traditional bed slinger. It's using V-wheels on the Y-axis. It's using this rail up here for the X-axis, and of course it's running dual lead screws for Z. And each one of those axes are controlled with an independent motor. Now the Ender 3 V3 is a little bit different of a setup, and as you can see, it's running rods on each axis. And see these belts? Yep, this is a Core XZ architecture. So that means that it's basically using two motors together in tandem, along with some sophisticated belts and pulleys to achieve its motion. Now let's talk about the speed of these machines. The Bamboo Lab A1 is marketed at a max speed of around 500 millimeters per second, while the Ender 3 V3 is marketed at a maximum speed of about 600 millimeters per second. In reality, you will likely be printing at around the 300 uh, millimeters per second range, and we'll take a look at the print quality here in a moment. Both of these machines have all of the features that you've come to expect on 3D printers in 2024. So as you can see, they both have nice, beautiful touch interfaces. They have auto bed leveling. They have auto Z offset. They have filament runout sensors. And of course they have Wi-Fi 3D printing. All right, let's talk about slicing and user experience. Bamboo has done a fantastic job with Bamboo Studio, creating probably the best user experience that our industry has ever seen. Now, Creality has come along with their brand new version of Creality Print, which is based on the code from Bamboo Studio, uh, Orca Slicer, um, but they've done a fantastic job with this recent version of making the experience just that much better. Now, a lot of companies are out there chasing this experience, and I think that Creality has done a fantastic job of kind of rolling their own, like I said, wireless 3D printing, it's one click right from your Mac or PC right to your 3D printer. All right, let's go ahead and talk about one of the big differences between these machines, and that is multicolor 3D printing. Bamboo Lab has the capability of printing with up to four colors on this A1 with their optional AMS light. Now, Creality is working on a multicolor system on some of their newer machines that are going to be released later this year, but I'm not quite sure if that system will be backwards compatible with the V3, so you'll have to go to their website and check up on that. All right, now let's see these machines in action.
Future Loyal here. All right, what you just saw was recorded a couple of days ago, but I felt it was important to come back and mention a couple of features um, before we take a look at the print results. And a couple of features that I missed were on the Bamboo Lab A1, that it does have a camera that can be used for remote monitoring and time lapses that the Ender 3 V3 doesn't have. In addition, the A1 also has a few more sensors in the tool head. It has a flow sensor, it has a pressure sensor, and those can kind of help it make dynamic calculations on the fly while printing, and even can help future-proof the printer. Um, well, for the future. Anyway, all right, with that, now let's go ahead and talk about the print quality. So what you saw printing for most of the video was this small one here. And this is a small little twisty model. This is by RJ Design. I'll have links uh, to all of that, of course, in the description. Oh, and by the way, this video is not sponsored. It's not sponsored by Bamboo, it's not sponsored by Creality, and it isn't sponsored by Polymaker. So it's just a fun comparison video that I wanted to make. Um, it was one of the most highly requested comparisons uh, that we've ever had. So anyway, the red here that you're looking at and this was printed on the Creality Ender 3 V3, and the blue was printed on the Bamboo Lab A1. And as far as print quality goes, I hope you're seeing some up-close B-roll of it, but they are absolutely perfect. And I chose this model intentionally so that I could get a print from each machine that could fit together to kind of show that these machines are producing such incredible quality nowadays that printers a year or two years ago just weren't doing this, let alone two different brands of printers uh, printing a similar model that had to fit together. Uh, you, you may have had lots of different problems and issues, but this is incredible. So now we just printed one larger and same thing. Red was printed on the Creality Ender 3 V3 and the blue was printed on the Bamboo Lab A1. And looking at the print quality up close, it's it's immaculate. I, I can tell at the top on whichever printer printed the uh, spires, I can tell that there's a little bit of wiggling happening. That just happens with bed slingers, and it happened on both printers almost identical. And I think that if I didn't tell you what printer printed which part, I don't think you could tell the difference. And so now, looking at this, this was just some fun Polymaker satin rainbow PLA. Um, there's new stuff and it looks really cool. I really like it. I'm actually, matter of fact, I want to print a helmet out of it and I decided that would be kind of fun to print so I swapped it out. And again, blue was uh, printed on, actually I don't remember. Yeah, the blue I think was also printed on the Ender 3 V3 and the rainbow silk was printed on the uh, A1. So anyway, with that, I hope that uh, we showed you enough prints. I hope we talked about the features and the user experience enough that you can ultimately make the decision because I'm not gonna make that decision for you, but which machine of these two do you think provides the best value, the best quality, um, and the best user experience for your $350? Where would you put it? And uh, tell me in the comments below, would you rather spend 300 and some dollars on an A1 or 300 and some dollars on an Ender 3 V3? Tell me, I'd like to know. And with that, Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you on the next one. And I can't believe it. These printers are crazy now. Everything is just producing such killer results, amazing stuff. So good.